Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we have a little bit of a different one. Obviously I've been getting a little bit, a little bit more into the whole pet markets and uh, today I want to talk to you about something that is uh, something that we've definitely seen before but not in obviously in Shadowlands because Shadowlands is new but the tactic is used before. And what this is, is we look at pets that uh, a lot of people are uh, obviously getting access to, but also something that people might not think about too much, okay? So what we're looking at today are going to be four battle pets directly from Sanctum of Domination. So Sanctum of Domination is obviously the raid of 9.1, and we are about to enter into 9.2 area, the 9.2 area, which means a lot of people are going to be stopping in the process of doing Sanctum of Domination for a while, right? So everything from Sanctum of Domination is going to start dropping a lot less. Now, there are four pets in there, and this one specifically, Eye of Extermination, is a pet that drops only on Mythic difficulty, and you can see that this one is obviously pretty cool out of, out of the ones that are here. But this one, as you can see right here, it's already uh, moving a little bit. Obviously, the Undermine Journal is... A little weird, but something you can do with pets is you could, if you play on a high pot realm, these are probably going to be pretty cheap. So you could take these pets and then you could drag it over to a lower populated realm. You can see here Outland on EU, 30k on the market price, right? You got uh, a Spanish realm, Casmodan, you got 30k there, 30k on all these smaller low pot realms, and you can try to sell it there. But also in the future, this pet specifically is probably going to be uh, going up in value because a lot of people won't be doing Sanctum of Domination anymore. So for the people that did not play during this period that maybe want to be able to collect this pet, that is something you can do. This is a very long-term uh, long term investment thing, and you should only be doing that with you know if you're actually aware of that. But the other pets that we also have, the other one is going to be called Iron Grasp. It looks like that right there. That drops on all difficulty, so obviously that is going to be lower on the value. And you guys can already see on my realm, it's already changed value a lot. You can see that it was actually in the market price, 75 gold, 60 gold. So obviously these are not really worth a lot, right? But you can take some, of, again, you're, but what this is, is you take them from a high pop and potentially sell them on low pups. Or you wait until, you know, far, far, far in the future as a long-term investment and try to sell it for more gold. And then, also, just to mention them, there are two more, and which is going to be Eye of All Seeing, and there's also going to be a Moss One Minion. So, Eye of All Seeing, you can see here, that's almost worth nothing. But this is also something that you can put aside and forget about, and then, you know, in a year or half a year, you can see if it got any value. And and the same thing with this Moss, uh, Moss One Minion, this is a little better, obviously, uh, it, it's got a little more on the value. But it's the same thing with all of these. People are going to be stopping with doing Sanctum of Domination. So chances are these are going to lower in quantity and increase in value. Over time, of course. But I just wanted to tell you guys about this. Also, just so you think about um, getting into that mindset of gold making. Always looking at, okay, what do we have right now? And how can it be good in the future? And then consider, okay, well, am I going to potentially invest into this being a thing? Right? Something like this, you don't have to put much more than maybe, you know, on some full pop servers, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50k maximum if you buy out the entire market, right? Especially if you do it right now. And then maybe in the future, you can sell one of these things for that price, right? So that's how you build up inventory. That's how you diversify, get more in, uh, into more of it. And I just wanted to make a little video for you guys to talk about that. Uh, but that's going to be all that I have for this video. So until the next one. See you guys!